All right, welcome to another episode of Pop Whip Playback. Pop Whip Playback. Pop Whip Playback. <laughs> I'm David Lau. I'm Andrew Zellner. And we have a winner from last week with the Mora Spoon Carving Kit. We have Billy R. in Oklahoma. You are going to be making some spoons soon. Awesome. Also wanted to let you know if you're interested in what we're doing at Popular Woodworking, we are hiring a senior editor for the magazine. So if you enjoy woodworking, you can write and edit, maybe you've had something published or work in the publishing industry at all, apply in the link uh, below and maybe you'll join us on Popular Playback at some point. That would be fun. Yeah. Our first video this week is from Kyle Toth. He has a maple cabinet with a pop-up TV. Not a lot of words in this video, but it's sharp and he's got that leopard print veneer work all over it. It's a great build. Next up, we've got Sean Boyd. Uh, he's a maker, I think, in California. Made this modern plywood desk um, that's a ton of curved plywood. He talked about you could use a CNC for this, but he doesn't use a CNC. He uses <laughs> uh, a, a router table and a pattern bit. And the finished thing is just incredible looking. You've got this sort of like butcher box plywood thing on top. So check it out. Learn a little bit about pattern routing too. Yes. Next, we have Mortis and Tenon. They released an epic silent video about their timber frame shop floor. It's a cool look, look into their uh, new workshop and space for Mortis and Tenon magazine. Uh, and if you don't know about Morris and Tenet Magazine, you need to go check out their website. We have their new issue, number four, that just dropped over at shopwoodworking.com. Please check it out. Uh, next, we've got Will Walker. Uh, I know we've talked about him in the past, but he made the most beautiful zero clearance insert plate for his table saw. It's just ridiculous. It's incredible. Um, he also, you know, talked about squaring up his table saw. Um, spring is always a good time to get your tools in order and uh, get them going for the I like the to get season. my tools in order every day. I'm sure your, your table saw has <laughs> never been out of square. <laughs> never. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have a video from Rockler on how to remove a strip screw. This is a personal talent of mine of destroying Phillips head screws. Uh, and so they uh, give you the, the rundown on how to use an extractor set. Uh, it's a good thing to know and a, definitely a good item to have in your toolbox. Man, these lights are kind of making me warm here. Oh! <laughs> and we match again! We're getting along so well. Thanks, boss. Yeah. <laughs> glad, glad I fit in around here. All right, that's it for Pop Boy Playback this week. If you have a video that you've made, or have made... <laughs> or if you'd like, if you have a video we you think we should see, Please submit it in the comments below, leave a link and we'll get to it. Uh, and if you're interested in that position. Yeah, uh, we'll have a link to the application below. You can always reach out directly to me. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have about the position. We're working very close with David and myself. Jake. Jake! Yo! Jake. Jake hasn't said anything in a while. The two guys behind the camera. <laughs> um, but it, we, we tend to have a good time. It so is a good time. Come, come on and join us. All right, we'll see you next week. See ya.